Okay, so real quickly, I want to show you guys a common problem with these 2000, late 2000 Chevys and how to fix it. As you can see, I've got a warning light. It says engine hot, AC turned off, and it won't blow cold. But what's interesting about this is that the temp gauge is all, it's not reading anything. Um, it's acting like it's just started and cold, but it's about 80 degrees outside. I've been driving the truck for an hour. It was idling, you know, right at 210 and then just suddenly dropped and the AC turned off. So it's kind of a common quirk um, with the later models and I'm gonna dive into it later and do a more permanent fix. But if this happens to you and you're driving, I'm gonna show you how you can fix it um, pretty easily. But something else just to give you an idea that like, this you know, will work, um, there is a protection in the actual uh, engine control module that will turn on the check engine light if the temperature gets over 245 degrees, I believe it is. So if your check engine's not light is not on and this is on, this is a really simple fix. Okay, but while you're under here, you just want to make sure, um, double check a few things. One, you want to make sure you have coolant. Sometimes it's hard to tell. You can just shake it and you can see it moving around in there. There are two hoses that go into your radiator. The top one should be pretty hot. I can hold it for about three seconds. That's about normal. If you can't touch it at all, that means your engine is overheating. Now the other hose is coming out the bottom of the radiator and that's fluid that's been cooled. So you should be able to grab onto that one for a good while. So one really good symptom of an overheating engine is if this bottom hose is almost as hot as the top hose. But in my case, the bottom one is cooler than the top, which means there's no blockage. Everything's operating normally, which means the water pump is working, which means the thermostat is opening and closing. So that lets me know we should probably just pull that cover off take out the ECM fuse for about 10 seconds and see if it fixes the issue. Now that we've got the cap off, all we need to do is pull the fuse to the ECM, which happens to be this one, which you always wanna check for your model. You wanna go down here and find the fuse. So there's ECM battery, it's number 12, and that's number 12. So then all you need to do is pull it out, let it sit for about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna put it in and restart the engine. Okay, so we're about to start the engine and we wanna pay attention to this gauge and we wanna make sure that it comes up when you start it and that lets you know you are safe to continue. There you go. And now here's the test. Uh, there's a light that illuminates when you turn the air conditioning on and a moment ago that would not stay lit. And I just heard the compressor kick on and everything seems to be working fine. And you know, we're right at 210. It wasn't overheating at all. It's just a quirk with this model. Um, and that's how you can fix it on the fly on the road. We'll do a more detailed uh, fix on this at a later date.